All right. Again, tons of links. I want to make a quick plug for Crudon Ramon's House of Math. If you've got young kids that uh, you would like to educate in mathematics, the best way to use the best way to do it is using manipulatives. Simple as that. Um, and I show you the best use of those manipulatives. People are amazed that pe people from around the world now are saying, "Wow, we use manipulatives, but we've never seen them used like that before." Because rather than just teaching addition and subtraction and maybe some place value, algebra, you know, calculus, trig, all of it, it can be taught using manipulatives, you know, fractions, decimals, all that, percentages. And if more people understood mathematics, they could never get away with what they're getting away with. More people understood and had critical thinking skills developed by mathematics. There's no way the mainstream media could give you the feature speak and double talk that they do, because you'd be able to see right through it even more easily. Right, a lot of people are starting to come to their senses and common sense, but if you had the you know analysis ability that mathematics gives you, you, they could never give you silly things like global warming and right. Okay, what global warming? How about if we got rid of all that mercury that we're using? You know that is made when we use oil and coal. Or no, but they're talking about carbon. <sighs> I'm breathing out CO two right now, right? I'm not breathing out mercury and cadmium and arsenic, <laughs> right? Anyway, uh, and then when it comes to these huge dollar amounts, that I mean, it's in, nearly impossible to wrap your mind around these trillions and trillions of dollars, right? But it, it it's amazing, amazing what they're doing. I mean, it's trillions of dollars that they're wasting. There's trillions of dollars we're wasting on the bankers and the globalists and their wars and on defense, right? We spend more money in this country than all the other nations combined, including Russia, China, India, uh, name them, you know, Persia, right, Iran. We spend more money than all of them combined on our, on our military. What if we took some of that money and spent it at home on butter, right? Because we could afford to, right? We need to get people off. We need to change our thinking and get people off of welfare, but the only guy talking about how we're going to fund the welfare because we have so many people that are dependent now on welfare because they want you dependent is Ron Paul. Right? If we had a better economy, if we had, a, you know, if we had, if, 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 if we were doing things a little bit differently, these people wouldn't be dependent on welfare. And Ron Paul isn't talking about throwing people out in the street. The bankers are throwing people out in the street in the middle of winter, right? Foreclosing on mortgages that they don't even have the notes for trying to. Right. Anyway, Romney collects more in donations from the big fi from the five biggest banks than all the other candidates combined. Ron Paul collects more money from veterans and and uh, active servicemen than all the other candidates combined. Who is the you know man of the people? Who is the popular one? Is it Romney or is it Ron Paul? That's just common sense again. Uh, Domino's delivered for Bane. There's a great. Uh, just read this story. Right? Make huge amounts of money and leave the chain in debt. They love debt. Gingrich's billionaire campaign backer under federal investigation after lawsuit alleges he hushed possible ties to organized Chinese organized crime. You cannot make this stuff up. You can't make these stories up. Like I said, you don't have to. Li they have to lie through their teeth about Ron Paul. All you have to do is expose the truth about Gingrich and Romney. Right? Ron Paul is a racist. Nonsense. Ron Paul he's an isolationist. Again, nonsense. Ron Paul, this and that, right? I mean, they got to make up stories about Ron Paul. Ron Paul, you know, if Ron Paul gets elected, no one in the country will ever have an abortion again. If Ron Paul gets elected, right? I mean, it's just ridiculous, right? If Ron Paul gets elected, all these people will be on the street and their benefits will be cut off and, you know, there will be no more head start. Nonsense. Ron Paul's the one trying to figure out how to pay for all this stuff. And the way he wants to pay for it is to bring our troops home, right? Secure our borders with our own troops have the troops spend their money at home, not disband the military, right? We'd have to open bases because we've got a hundred, we got hundreds of bases around the world. If we're going to support all these troops and inside the United States, we'd have to open bases. What would that do to the economies of various, you know, states? And these troops would be spending their money at home. Instant boost for the economy. Anyway, the man behind Gingrich's money, uh, Robert Reich pretends he's stupid because he doesn't understand who this guy is. And blah, blah. All right, anyway, read these. And then I got links to Mouseland. And then torture. Joint Enterprise on torture. It's Joint Enterprise. If you can stomach it, watch those. Right, Craig Murray. Right? Men with 
flags, U.S. flags on the uniform torturing in our name. It needs to stop. Simple. We have prosecuted men in this country for war crimes and put them to death in the United States for waterboarding. In Cheney's lifetime, Japanese war criminals that were caught, or, you know, were, were convicted of waterboarding in World War II were put to death. Now, there's no, nothing's changed. World War II was a heinous war. All wars are heinous wars, right? And people killing each other and on large scale, lots of bad things happen, right? It's not, nothing's changed. This war on terror, nothing's changed, right? We don't need torture. It's not a new tool. It's the same tool of tyranny that's been going on for thousands of years. And our founding fathers knew that this was wrong. You know that it's wrong and it needs to stop. All right, uh, Portugal tenure. Anyway, it's, it's looking bad in Europe. American FRN still the best looking horse at the glue factory, but they're all looking bad, right? And what we're seeing is the mathematical certainty of the system that's unsustainable coming to its end. And it's just it's amazing that we're going to be alive and watch this, watch the big changes. Congresswoman is outraged that she's wiretapped, but she voted for the Patriot Act. Anyway, same guy, you know, the guy that uh, did the TSA, that was one of the main architects for the TSA, he's now remorseful about setting up the TSA. And then here's the last story. Uh, enor enormous Idaho pot bust. Enormous. It was 69 pounds. But uh, this guy, you know, note to self, if you got 69 pound of pot in your car, don't be driving like a maniac. Maybe you should follow the speed limit. <laughs> he got stopped twice. First cop let him go. And he got stopped the second time. I mean, unbelievable. His car, pot, car reeks of pot, and he's still speeding. You know, if you've got pot in your car, maybe you should try to speed limit and make sure all your, you know, blinkers work and the lights all work and you don't have a tail light out and so on, so they got no excuse to stop you and just, you know, drive like a regular human being. But no, right? Pot didn't get this guy busted. His own stupidity did. But the idea is that it's, you know, he's got flowers in his car. He's got the buds of a plant in his car. And they're going to put him away forever. He's going to probably go away forever for trafficking, right? How many bankers going away forever? How many of these son of a bitches that are, you know, crashed our economy are going away? Not one. How many are even being investigated? How many torturers are going away forever? Not one. Now, at the common law, where is the victim in this crime? Right, for the pot? Who Who is he harming again? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, again... Ron Paul, the only guy talking about letting out the nonviolent offenders, right? The only guy talking about that. All the other guys, right? Obama, any of those guys talking about? No. Now, indefinite detention, right? National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA. Who signed it? Obama. Would 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 Ron Paul have ever signed that? Never, and you know it, right? I see all, and now I see on Facebook all these people putting up petitions trying to get Obama to, you know, stop appointing Monsanto lawyers, to stop appointing RIAA lawyers, to, to repeal that, you know, that part of the NDAA. You know, you would never have to do this with Ron Paul. This is what I mean. He's popular among Democrats, Independents, and Republicans. We all share common values, and Ron Paul represents those common values. Right? These stories that they try to tell you about Ron Paul are nonsense. Expose the stories about Romney, the supposed front runner, and Gingrich and, and Santorum, who are there only to piss off the Democrats and only to make it seem like the Republicans are, you know, these mean, small minded people, right? Because Newt and Rick are both small minded, mean individuals, mean humans, right? And I mean, family values, come on, Newt Gingrich, really? Right? <laughs> And the evangelicals are all about Newt, Newt Gingrich, really? I think just based on his marital record, the, the, uh, many of these fundamentalist Christians would have a hard time with Newt. And yet, somehow, the mainstream media sells you the idea, and it's a, that's all it is, a story that they're selling, that he's a front-runner, right? The, the, the guy that's remained married to the same woman for ever in a day, right? Like 54 years of marriage, that, right? He's not popular with the evangelicals. Right? The guy that's been, you know, never performed an abortion and so forth, and believe me, this is one place where he and I differ 100%. He is a pro-lifer, and I am, you know, pro-abortion. Not even pro-choice, I'm pro-abortion. But, you know, the main issue is the Federal Reserve. Right? Abortion, not a big, not a major issue. Right? The drug war, not even that big of an issue. Right? 
it's a pretty big thing where my countrymen are going to wind up going to war again, where they trick you again. They just sold you about nuclear weapons in, in Iraq, right? You got nuclear weapons. He's going to nuke us, right? They're trying to do the same thing with Iran, and you guys are falling for it again. It hasn't even been 10 years. They lied to you, and he's still, right? Do you not remember that there were no weapons of mass destruction? Do you, do you, is, right? They're selling the same lies and telling you the same story. The one guy that's saying, hey, this is just more warmongering. This is just more saber rattling. His name is Ron Paul. But again, the main thing, the reason why we can finance all of this and the reason, right, is the Federal Reserve. Now, the one guy talking about that, Ron Paul. The one guy talking about how we're going to fund all of these, you know, welfare programs and all this stuff going on at home, all these entitlement programs at home, it's Ron Paul. Right? The only guy making any sense at all is Ron Paul. These other guys, all you got to do is expose them. Now, when it comes to the vote, like I've made numerous videos. People are waking up. Instead of going home to watch on TV while they count the votes for you, you need to make sure the votes get counted in your precincts. You guys need to organize and get out and make sure you count the vote, right? Make sure that you know 120 people in your precinct voted for Ron Paul, and when you get the printout, it better say 120 people voted for Ron Paul, right? Simple as that. In every precinct, everywhere, in all the ones coming up, everywhere, all the caucuses, everywhere coming up, right? You need to head it off at the pass. No whining, no complaining, don't get pissed off, don't cry, just do your job. And your job is to make sure, one, it's whose responsibility is it to vote? Yours. You have to get up and get out there and go vote. Whose responsibility is it to make sure that your vote got counted? Yours. Right? You don't hand your power over to somebody else. All power in this country lies in the consent of the governed and the consumer and nowhere else. And the fact that people are waking up to this scares the shit out of our government. Right? I mean, and the, and the elite and the bankers. People are waking up. Who has the power? We do. We outnumber them, hundreds and hundreds to one. Right? Go use the power inherent in the people. And don't get violent, don't get stupid, just go do the right thing. Simple as that. All right, so I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for all your support. Glad you're watching my videos. I can't believe that I got like 10,000 views on this channel. I need a few more views on my other channel, the one that teaches math. Right? I mean, it's free. There's like tons of videos for free over there teaching your kids how to do math. All right. Anyway, Ron Paul, 2012.